But Joe, it wasn't the stress of a one score game late, but did have an odd finish there where he had to come back in. But when it was rolling for the first three and a half quarters, what was clicking offensively? Amari, Amari Cooper. Um, yeah, we were able to get some big plays, obviously. Uh, the first play of the game, you know, they played quarters, and I, I wasn't really sure that Amari being the, the guy that was running that route was going to be able to get by those guys. But man, he, 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 he ran right by and went up and made the catch, and he did that all day, so. What's made that connection special and so effective? Well, he's just a really good football player. That's what, that's what it is. It's simple. If I would have told you six weeks ago that you'd be heading into a Thursday night game in week 17 to clinch a spot for the Cleveland Browns into the playoffs, you would have told me what? <laughs> Man, it, it's unbelievable. How, how about that? Uh, you know, I feel like every week, you know, we feel like, man, that was a huge win. And, and every week keeps happening and you, you're looking at that game and you're like man this will be a huge win all these games matter it's so fun to be playing you know really meaningful football in December again um, you know it brings me back a while but man it's a blast could you ask for a better Christmas gift than this one yeah, this, this will definitely make Christmas uh, very enjoyable it's, it's gonna be awesome to see the family and uh, it's gonna be an awesome Christmas yep lastly Joe uh, enjoy this one I know you're not consuming it but the internet's having a lot of fun with you right yeah, now Yeah, I bet I bet <laughs> I can't believe it but it is what it is let, let them have fun you know enjoy it man yeah, good to see you. it back on game day scoreboard presented by Geico as we take you back out to Houston where our guy Charles Davis is standing by CD another exciting game a historic one in some ways for Cleveland and that offense by way of injury or incompetence, we've seen 58 different quarterbacks play in the NFL this year. Yeah. How is it that the guy who's coming off the couch looks like one of the most competent right now in the league? Isn't it amazing? <laughs> and I think a lot of it has to do with the makeup of who he is as a person, Joe, the experience that he's had before, and just all he wanted was one more opportunity to go out on his terms. He didn't want to go out on their terms. And when we saw him before the last game we had, which I believe was Jacksonville, we asked him point blank, who else called during that time? Why did you choose Cleveland? He said, it was the only call I got. So he's playing with some joy right now and, and, and having a great time. And, boy, has he changed the fortunes of this team because, Joe, they were playing defense, field position, kicking game. That was it. Can we win 13 to 10? Now with this offense, that defense doesn't feel like they have to win every game. Mm -hmm. The defense can relax, play, and if something goes just a little haywire with their aggressiveness, oh, we've got 15. We've got Joe Flacco. He'll get it back for us. And today he and Amari Cooper were – Beyond sensational. Yeah, filling up Cooper's stocking in this one to the tune of 265. Unbelievable stuff from that duo offensively. But you allude to the defense. It was the hallmark of this team, the thing they hung their hat on. It got a little loose down the yeah. stretch with the lead as big as it was, but still a, a stifling defense that screams playoff football. What do they do better than anybody else right now? Because from a scoring and statistical standpoint, they are one of the best doing it. Yeah, they, they listen, they, they marry pressure and coverage better than anyone in the league right now, I believe, because when you watch them play, Joe, and you turn on the film, you'll see the pressure on the quarterback, and then you'll see the delivery, and even if the receiver catches the ball, you can't even count to one before there's a, re, there's a defender in the area or a defender making contact. Everything's contested. Everything's tough. The way I equate it, and it shows my age a little bit, when Michael Jordan was playing and they talked about defending him, you knew you couldn't and stop him, but you had to make it difficult on him. So all you ever heard defend defensive coaches talk about was you've got to be there on the catch. When Michael Jordan caught the ball, you had to be there and make it tough and make him work for it, not let him catch and have move, room to move. Well, in football, it's the same thing. If you're there on the catch and tackle on the spot, the yards after catch, the, the field position changes, all of those things. That's what Cleveland does really, really well in the secondary because of the pressure they get up front. They marry it together. They're, they're, they're pretty sensational. And by the way, Joe, they gave up a kick kickoff return for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. The first team defense gave up nothing nothing else today all the other points came off of the second team defense and they ran those plays down the stretch nothing else in other words they pitched a shutout if you take away the kickoff return and you're telling me Flacco only got one call and much like MJ looks like he took that personal Charles Davis a Merry Christmas to you and yours <laughs> and a happy holidays we'll see you soon Merry Christmas happy holidays happy new year to everyone take care appreciate you CD
Back in studio alongside Emery Hunt after a quick reminder that this season you can catch the NFL streaming on Paramount Plus. More than 100 games this season, including the AFC playoffs and Super Bowl 58 from Las Vegas. All coming to you, the NFL on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. The aforementioned and aptly dressed Emory Hunt in studio to react further. Emory, this is a historic day for Amari Cooper. We were talking about tread on the tire for some of these older players, and Amari Cooper has been doing this for a very long time. Now four games in his career uh, with 200-plus receiving yards. What did you see specifically from a guy that doesn't wow you with his speed or his route running at this juncture of his career, but always seems to make the play when the ball is directed towards him? It's that veteran savvy that we like to talk about in football and all sports, rather, when you think about how he was making some of these catches along the sideline, toe tapping while maintaining possession of the football. We saw that in the end zone, maintaining that focus, that laser sharp focus. I remember my college coach, Tyke Tober, who's a receivers coach right now for the Chicago Bears, used to say, if you find the point of the football, you can catch anything thrown your way. And we saw that play out perfectly this afternoon with Amari Cooper, just focusing on the football and was able to make every catch. They talk about being in the zone. Mm -hmm. This is what in the zone looks like to where everything was moving in slow motion for him in regards to catching the ball, defenders draped all over him, making sure his feet was where they were supposed to be uh, on the field. So this was a great receiver performance by a guy that is not a young chicken, mm -hmm. but that's out there doing what he has to do to win versus some great talent right there. That's a great cover corner in Derek Stingley. He yeah. was out there making sure he secured the catch and did everything he needed to do to make sure his team won the ball game today. So I was thoroughly impressed. The guy put up 265 yards receiving. Look at this list. Been doing it. I mean, Lance most 200-yard receiving games, now four in Cooper's career. This was 11 for 265 and two touchdowns. It came on 15 targets from Joe Flacco, who went for 368 through the air. Three consecutive games of 300-plus yards passing for Flacco, Emery. Talk to me about... His competence, as we spoke to with Charles Davis about, talk to me about the way he's executing in this offense because looking at January Joe right now, there is a calm there that, as producer Lucas pointed out, known Jet fan, that wasn't there the last time we saw Joe Flacco. What do you credit this renaissance to? Yeah, just getting, just being happy with another chance. Yeah. Just getting an opportunity. Charles talked on it and touched on it perfectly. This is someone that was just begging for an opportunity, got the call, and went out there and he's maximizing the opportunity. We watched this game in the green room. We were just amazed at how well he was moving within the pocket for someone that's 38 years old, just got called off the off the couch, and he's out there maneuvering within the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield. And Joe Flacco still throws one of the most beautiful oh, deep overalls. Just always <laughs> this perfect throwing flag routes, over routes, corner routes. He's still able to do that getting off the couch. But the mobility at 38 years old within the pocket and now the leadership and the confidence this Browns team has that look of a special squad in 2023. It was not what you would expect on a fourth quarterback right. option of the season, but this offense looks to be running as efficiently as it has all season no long. Nick Chubb, and it's, like you said, fourth quarterback. And it is under Joe Flacco. Unbelievable stuff. We'll see if that momentum can roll along for Cleveland, but it's another notch in the win column. Emory Hunt, we appreciate